Before we continue, I just want to talk about my website that me and Waffle created. It's the first and only SCP Secret Laboratory FAQ website that's being actively updated. You can support the website by becoming a contributor or donating to our Patreon. Alright, back to the video. Alright, before uh, I, the video continues on, I just want to say I'm so sorry. It's really scuffed video. I had to keep on recording this, redoing it. I just put so much time into this because I'm so tired. Um, yeah, sorry if I sound and act really fucking autistic. It's one in the morning, and I'm not the best at this, so I, I hope you don't have an issue with the video. All right, hey guys, welcome to my little YouTube series. Uh, these videos are meant to help people that are having issues or are just completely confused on how to do stuff for a secret laboratory server. Uh, this will be the first episode. Um, I will be showing you how to install the server for SCP Secret Laboratory on Windows 10. Now there's one thing you need to consider before doing this is I would not suggest doing this um, if you're trying to do a public server because people can get your IP address, they can DDoS you and dox you not the best thing. Uh, you'll be fine if you're trying to s trying to do a private server for like you and your friends. So, all right, now you're going to have to install Steam CMD. This will allow you to uh, download the server from public Steam servers. Um, now you can just go to Steam um, on your computer, go to library, and just look up SCP SL dedicated server. But in this video, we'll be doing it through Steam CMD. <laughs> so you can either uh, download it from the link in the description or go to the website, go to server at the top right, and click how to make a server. Same page, nothing different. So we're going to install it. Now, the thing is, I already downloaded it, I already installed it. Basically, you're going to download it to wherever you want on your computer, extract it, and run the Steam CMD EXE. Um, it will take a little bit because it's going to have to download and install stuff. Now, remember it's not installing it on your computer. So if you delete the folder where Steam CMD is, you're going to have to redo all this stuff for Steam CMD. So that's just, yeah. Alright, now you have Steam CMD. Basically, just open the folder start steam cmd.exe it will do update stuff if you haven't ran it before um so yeah obviously yeah it'll do update stuff just wait until it's done now you're gonna have to type in login anonymous this will basically connect you to the public steam server so you can download the dedicated server now you're gonna have to type in force under slash install under slash dir this is the directory of the folder where you want to install the server now what you could just do is open up file explorer and go to the folder where you want to install the server and then go up here click this little bar and click control C it'll copy this highlighted stuff and Go back here, make sure, you have a sp uh, make sure you have a space, and just right click, enter. And now it's set to that location. Now, you just have to type app, under slash, uh, update, then 99560. The number is the app ID of the dedicated server. Then just press enter. Um, oh. Yeah, there's a oopsie when I did it. So just, I gotta delete that. And sorry about that. App uh, slash update 996560. Uh, oh, I actually typed it in wrong. Oh, uh, that's why. Oh, my bad. Alright. <laughs> now it will install the dedicated server. It's gonna take me a minute because uh, not the best internet connection. Alright, we are back, and the server is installed. So it says, success, app, the number, fully installed. 
if you go back to your folder you will have a bunch of new stuff and this is good good stuff now to start your server you're going to have to open localadmin.exe <coughs> this will start the server base this is basically what like controls the server I guess you could say um, so yeah when you do start it it will just like this it'll say a port number um, you're gonna have to port forward um, uh, the, I'm not gonna show you how to do this do that in this video just look up your router number or not number your router uh, model and you can pretty much just find a video on how to port forward and basically yeah we're gonna be doing the default port which is 7777 um, so in your uh, fire or your uh, port forward rules you're gonna have it to 7777 and you press enter and local admin uh, now you are when you do it it's going to prompt you with something called local admin configuration wizard it will basically um, here we'll do it right now oh it didn't do it whoops uh, whoopsie <laughs> uh, but yeah it will prop you prompt you with that and it'll just you know put the things you want um, I just scroll down because my IP address was in there. So now, yeah, you'll see this waiting for players. Uh, the red text. It, there's going to be a big red error, and it's going to say that your server is not public. It's on the server list. It's fine for now. Um, to get your server public on the list, just come to the website. Um, go here and just read this. Really simple and easy. Um, so yeah. Uh, I may as well close this. So yeah, it's here. I can just click out. Um, wait for a secret laboratory to start. <coughs> also, sorry if this is a scuffed video. Not the best of this. So, go to servers. Click direct connect right here. And type local host. And click connect. Now you know it's working. If you see in the bottom left, it says loading the level. If it doesn't say that you did something wrong, your server is just, you didn't start up. If you need help, just comment. Put a comment in the bottom. Um, just leave a comment, and I'll help you. I can help you over Discord, or you can just join the secret official secret laboratory Discord server. Come to tech support, and ask. If you really want me that bad, you can just ping me and I'll help you. So yeah, we're in the server. If you press N, it will obviously show the leaderboard. Um, it will say my server name because you haven't added the configs. And if you press M, it will say that you need to type a password. I don't have to do it because I already messed around with uh, remote admin config. Um, so yeah, basically, that is how you install the dedicated server um, as you can see in console as well I connected so yeah um, if you need any help have any questions uh, make sure to put a comment below try to help you as best as I can um, or yeah you could as I just said like five seconds ago you could just go to the secret official secret laboratory discord ask for help if you really want me that bad you could just ping me I'll help you um, if you want me I can help you over like a good voice chat video call or something um, so yeah next video I will show you how to do stuff for the config and how to set up your server even more um, if you do enjoy this video consider leaving a like and subscribing it means a lot and it supports the channel and it shows me that people actually enjoy my content 